Today I'm going to describe how we can automate certificate generation with CertBot. CertBot out of the box, um, if you guys go to the website certbot.eff.org, out of the box it, it supports a number of operating systems and a number of web servers. And if it supports a web server it can uh, it, 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 with a plugin, then it can directly generate the, the certificate and install it into your web server. However, if you would like more control or if your web server is not directly supported, there's a generic way you can automate certificate generation for just about any web application, any web server. I created a, a, a blog entry. If you guys want to follow along, follow along, it's probably easier that way. I summarized it in uh, six simple steps. Uh, six simple steps to uh, generate, to create, to set up your automatic certificate generation for your um, web application. So first of all, you need to install CertBot. If you, uh, I'm, I'm using a Docker container, uh, which is based on um, OpenJDK, Open uh, which is a Docker container, a Docker image name, which is in itself based on Oracle Linux, which is itself based on Red Hat Linux. So for, for that stack, this is the uh, uh, what, what you would need to copy into your Docker file. Uh, if you use some other um, Unix installation, it's going to be very similar. So first, you have to make sure you install Certbot. Again, if you if you like uh, the commands in detail, go to the Certbot website, pick your software. Um, actually, in this case, the op uh, the operating system would ha uh, would help. So you say software, none of the above, and you pick your OS here and then it will tell you what the commands exactly are for your spe uh, specific stack. So let's go back here. Um, once, you ha once you installed CertBot, uh, the second step is you need to install cron. We we're going to need cron because uh, SSL certificates generated by Let's Encrypt by CertBot expire in three months. So you have to periodically renew them. And the best way to do this is, uh, or one of the easiest way of doing this is installing cron. Step three, uh, obtain your first certificate. The first certificate will not be automated uh, in the sense that you will actually have to, have to issue the command and hit enter. So this way of doing it, what I'm showing, uh, you have to log into your uh, 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 container and um, issue this co command that I show here. You can copy and paste the correct command literally. It's very, very simple to do. Um, you have to give it uh, a web route. So the way this generic uh, way of automation works is it's, it's using a plugin called Webroot. Well, the Webroot plugin uh, only assumes that whatever web application, web server you're using, probably uses a file system, which will probably have a, a root. So you give it that root, and it's going to generate the web challenge, the little uh, snippet of, of, of uh, key uh, uh, content that it, it wants to put out on your web server. Uh, it's going to use that web root to install the web challenge in a well-known location. So it's going to put it in this place, uh, webroot.wellknown, ACME challenge, special unique key. So it's going to put a file that then it will expect to find when it comes in uh, uh, from, from their server. So the first thing is when you issue this command above, it's going to uh, uh, put the, uh, the key in that location. And then uh, uh, after that, automatically, their server, the server server from the internet will come in to your domain and it will expect to find that, that, that key, that file on your, on your domain. So it's going to look for something like this. Your domain, well-known ACMA challenge, the same special key that you used, uh, that, they, that they used uh, to create that file in your web root. So that's how this works. Um, so once, once you did this, once you issued this command, all of this will happen automatically. Unlike the manual mode, I explained in, the, in my other video how, how the manual work, mode works. In this mode, it will happen automatically. If you're curious about what this looks like, this is what you get as an output. But this is how you know it worked. Uh, and you're going to uh, be able to look at uh, a detailed transcript of what actually happened in that log file. So uh, once you have your keys, uh, you only you, you, the next step you will need to do is you will you will need to use whatever unique process your web application, your web server um, has 
to install the keys in in it. Um, if you're using, in my case, I'm using HTTP. If you're using HTTP, you I will have to, uh, you will have to generate a Java key store. I will show you how in, in your web application. Since this is a generic method, this is going to vary based on whatever. Um, um, uh, web server rec web technology you're using. So I'm just showing here the first step is almost not regardless whatever you do probably will be to generate the full certificate which is just concatenating the a full chain and the primary key and the second step is going to be creating a, a Java uh, 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 key, uh, key store out of this and then the third step is you're going to have to copy this wherever your web application will expect to, to import it from. So this is a manual step still, uh, but it, it, it's very simple to do. So once you did this, once you did this, uh, you should be able to uh, 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 co connect to your website via SSL. So uh, make sure you import the key store you created here or the full certificate and SSL should be set up for your website. But you have a second thing that you have to do and this is what, uh, what is Servbot is so helpful with. Uh, and that is creating uh, uh, this certificate periodically. So, uh, because the certificates expire every three months, you will have to renew before the, the three months are up. And this is what step five is about. Um, all you need to do, because it already knows that you issued this command and registered you, all you will need to do is issue um, uh, this uh, renew command and it will uh, uh, generate the certificates again. If you do it too soon, you're going to get a warning message that is too new to renew um, and it will not do anything. So what you should probably do and what I what I am doing is uh, I, I'm putting this into a cron job and if you if you put it into a cron job then you can run this let's say in, in my case I run it every week I could run it um, every month or right? every um, um, uh, two months uh, uh, I'm running it every week uh, just in case there's whatever reason it needs to be renewed sooner uh, or the software changes. At this point you, you can't renew sooner than a month so to protect myself against changes in these policies I just, I just run it uh, once every week and if it doesn't have to renew it just doesn't renew as we, as we saw above here. It will just say that it's not time to renew yet and it won't do anything. So this should be enough uh, unless, I, I mean, except of course that you have to install these certificates. So what I recommend is here, instead of uh, calling uh, the renewal command directly, uh, step six should also be included in, um, in a script along with the renew command. The next step should be installing the script. So basically you have to make sure you don't forget to install your new keys because your new, new keys are going to be installed just like the first time under Let's Encrypt uh, 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 live, let's let's encrypt li Etsy, let's encrypt live in your domain name. So in this directory, this is where um, the keys are installed. So when you renew the keys, these keys are are replaced with the new keys, and and because of that, uh, I repeat again, you have to make sure you repeat step four to install your keys in your web server. That's all there is to it. If you like this video and if you'd like to keep this kind of content coming, please subscribe by hitting the button down below. Thank you.